The Pirates ship is smooth sailing once again for Seton Hall men's basketball. After an alley-oop walk-off gave the Pirates a victory over Butler, they rolled their momentum into the next game, dominating the St. John's Redstone from start to finish in front of their biggest crowd of the season. On the flip side, the women's basketball team also encountered the Red Storm, but they weren't as lucky. I'll be joined on this beautiful stage by Christian Gardner and Justin Morris to recap last week's action and let you know what you can expect from the men's and women's basketball teams down the stretch. We will also touch on some other spring sports around the South Orange campus. My name is Wilna Lewis, and this is Hall Talk. Thanks, Dan, and hello, Pirates. Happy Turkey Weekend. Meteorologist Wilner Lewis here to make sure you know the weather so you can plan out your Thanksgiving fit perfectly. Today, it will be nice for the end of November with a high of 58 and a low of 38. Tomorrow, the wind will be huffing and puffing with some potential showers in the afternoon with a high of 57 and a low of 45. On Thanksgiving Day, make sure you have a jacket ready because you're going to have some strong winds and a high of 49 and a low of 32. For all you Black Friday shoppers, it will be sunny with a temperature that will be crisp of a high of 45 and a low of 28. Finally, on Saturday, you can recover with a partly sunny day and a high of 40 and a low of 33. That'll wrap up your five-day weather forecast. I'm Willa Lewis. Now it's time to send it back to Dan and Christian with the latest news from around the country. Thanks, John Quill. Hello, Pirate fans. I'm Willa Lewis here with your Seton Hall Sports Update. It's the most wonderful time of the year, at least those interested in NCAA basketball. After an offseason that seemed like it took ages, Seton Hall men's basketball finally returned to action inside of Historic Walsh Gymnasium last Friday. The Pirates played their first exhibition against Bloomfield College, a game where they came away with an 81-52 victory. Big East preseason player of the year, Miles Powell, led the show for Seton Hall with 21 points. Jared Roden and Miles Kale both hit the double-digit mark with 13 and 10 points, respectively. They will play their final tune-up game today against Miss Akadria Cougars at 7 p.m. in Walsh Gymnasium before the official season starts next Tuesday against Wagner. Staying on the hardwood, the Seton Hall women's basketball team will play an exhibition game as well in Walsh Gymnasium on Wednesday at 7 p.m. against the Jefferson Rams. This will give Pirate fans their first opportunity to see the 2019-2020 Lady Pirates with 10 new faces being able to grace the floor. They will also boast the Big East preseason player of the year in Shadeen Samuels and Desiree Elmore who got the preseason All-Big East team nod. Shadeen Samuels was also named to the Cheryl Miller Awards watch list which recognizes the top small forwards in women's college basketball. Finally, Seton Hall men's soccer welcomed in the number four team in the nation when they played St. John's on Saturday. Eden O'Leary was the hero of the game as he connected on a header in the 76th minute to equalize the game. After two overtime periods, neither team was able to score and the game ended in a 1-1 draw. This was the first time Seton Hall drew a point on a nationally ranked team since 2017. Currently, Seton Hall is two points out of a, bit, a spot in the Big East tournament, and they'll return into action today when they play Army West Point at ONT Carroll Field at 5 p.m. That'll do it for your Seton Hall sports update. Once again, I'm Warner Lewis. Now back to Isabella and John Quill with your local news from the tri-state area. It really was the Romero Gill show from start to finish. He finishes that game with 15 points, six rebounds, and eight blocks. He almost had a double double of blocks and points, but you can't speak enough about what he means to this team. He was a dominant presence down low, one of the contributing factors to why the Pirates led the points in the paint battle 32 to 23. And Wilner, honest to God, I've never seen a big man like this for the Pirates since Angel Delgado, and he's on an absolute rampage. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the box score and you see that Romero is a leading scorer. It might scare you a little bit because you have Miles Powell, Quincy McKnight, the likes of those players on your team. But the way that Romaro Gill has just been able to affect this team offensively and defensively is something that you, we haven't seen, like you said, ever since Angel Delgado. Just being able to attack that pick and roll, being able to really roll into the basket and get those dunks. He had one dunk that he just took flight looking like Superman, the way that he was able to jump from the baseline. I mean, just the way that he's been able to perfect his game offensively throughout conference play has been something that we need to credit Willard for. Romero Gill taking flight using the full entirety of his seven foot five wingspan to hammer one home from right of the paint. I've not seen range like that from him ever. So the fact that he was able to pull that off in this contest was one of the determining factors that absolutely deflated the Friars' attack. The player that stepped up, at least for me, on this game was the freshman Tyree Samuels. Seven points, six rebounds in 19 minutes of play. You will, again, he's only a freshman, but for him to step up in these big moments at the Prudential Center, which was rocking today, I thought it was a very good performance. Yes, it was a good showing by the crowd. and. Um, Tyree Samuels looked a lot more comfortable out there. He played more minutes with Miles Powell, and um, he played more minutes than Sanjo Mamukelishvili, um, which um, 
uh, Kevin Willard was asked why he was taken out so early and didn't play that many minutes, and he just simply said he wasn't playing well. But the, the freshman really stepped up, looked more comfortable. He's going to see more minutes with Miles Powell because it is easier to play with Miles. But having him out there, getting him um, accustomed to the system and everything is really big for the freshman. Need food, but finding that your budget is a little tight? Well, DoorDash will help you eat with a minimal cost. For a limited time only, DoorDash will be giving away 1 million McDonald's Big Mac sandwiches for only one penny. That's right, only one cent. Plus, when you do purchase a Big Mac from the company, you'll be entered into a drawing for a chance to win a million dollars. If the coupon doesn't auto-apply, use code 1MBIGMAC. This offer is valid until 11.59 p.m. on October 4th. You just got to think about it like this. Just he was brought on this team as a defensive presence. I mean, he's 7'2", and Seton Hall hasn't had a 7'2 player in I don't know how long. But for him, he just has a little bit more confidence. In the early games in non-conference and even in the games last year, you saw Seton Hall trying to work that pick and roll, but he just had butterfingers. There was just no way, shape, or form that he was able to really make a, a presence offensively. But now in conference play, he's starting to get that confidence up. He's starting to really work on his offensive game, and you're seeing it in the box score. I mean, 17 points for him. In the beginning of the year, you would not expect that, but this year he's just showing out and showing up. Yeah, 100%. And against Butler, when you look at how Romero Gill played, their bigs and their forwards did not have an answer for him. He finished that game 6 of 7 from the floor and 5 of 6 from the charity stripe. That is phenomenal. And it also speaks to the size mismatch also. Butler, not the biggest team. Once again, the Seton Hall Pirates took down the Florida A&M Rattlers 87-51 here at the Prudential Center. They'll be back on the Prudential Center on December 19th when they welcome Maryland to the building. But for Ronnie Jerez, I'm Wilna Lewis signing off here on Pirate Television.